Oh, yeah. So, guys, the first thing we're going to do is a sumo deadlift. Just putting our kid to feet, nice and wide. Probably outside the, right outside the second row. Arms directly in front of your shoulders, you know, like front and side. You're standing at the bar. Knees behind your ankles. Flat back. Try the knees out. And lift. Alright, good. Now we're going to do a deadlift. You're going to be directly underneath your hips. Um, in this position, nice and narrow. Then you grab the bar right around the girl. Uh, the closer your hands are to your legs, the shorter the distance the bar goes, the easier it gets. Right. So, same thing, you're going to have a nice flat back. Big chest up high, hips up, knees, chest up the bar, and knees over your ankles. Keep the back, push press. Okay, good, now we're going to do a pin power. Feet are in the same position, you grab a little wider though. I would say thumb face up the railing with about a small kick. You see the first ring if you're my size. Then you're going to do a quick vertical dip, keeping your torso upright. Push your knees out, bring your heels, dip, stand. Dip, stand, boom. Then what you're going to do is you're going to dip, jump up, and catch one shoulders. Then you're going to Next exercise we have is front squat. The wide your stance a little bit. Heels are going to be directly underneath your shoulders. Right, triceps are parallel to the floor. Head facing forward. You're going to press your knees out. Sit your hips back and down at the same time. And you're weighting your heels. Alright, good. Next exercise is a press. You bring your feet back underneath your hips. And we're going to bring the elbows down to an active rack, bar wrist across from your shoulders. Yeah. You're going to press your head back. So you're feeling like you're going to push your chin out the back of the neck. Alright, like this, upper chin. Brace your stomach, squeeze your butt, and press the bar overhead. You always want to make sure you get your head out of the way of the bar. Do not move the bar around your head. Next exercise we have the push press. Very similar to the press in terms of mechanics, except you're going to dip and drive. You're going to do a vertical dip over your main power plane and then press it back. Dip, drop. You're going to do a quick drive. Good. Next exercise we have the push jerk. The only difference between the push jerk and the push press is you're going to hang in the catch position, which is the same. Dip, try, dip again. So it's head of the way, out of brace. Dip, try, dip. Good. Next exercise you have is a split jerk. Very similar to the pressure, you can do the a split stance. So, forward and back, you want to keep your feet. Push press. Yeah. Same with the park, kind of like the grip, uh, as if you're sliding your foot on the railroad tracks. So you're going to dip, drive, and you're land in a split position. So front foot, back foot, recover. Good. So we have the back spin. Good. Bar, high up on your tracks. Uh, barbell on spine is a bad idea, so keep it off your neck. Your hands close together, as close as you can get with straight wrists, and it doesn't bother your shoulders. Uh, heels underneath your shoulders. Your chest, brace, drive the knees up. Back squat, we overhead squat. Let the hands up. Um, not as wide as your snatch position, but wider than your press and jerk. Performance are the same as a squat. Uh, heels under the shoulders. Drive the knees out. Sit the hips back and down. Keep your wrists. Uh, palms facing towards the ceiling. Shoulders active. Okay, here we are squat. The hang power snatch should go a little bit wider. The chest. The same thing as your main power punch. Zips. Explode upward and catch more overhead. 